Well, this is gonna be my very last Dollar Tree haul. My name is Vanessa and I love the Dollar Tree. So I am sharing a last Dollar Tree haul for December um, and I definitely picked up several things. I've already organized it a little bit to share with you guys. Um, and yeah, this is going to be all I need to get me through the rest of December and through the holiday season. So I picked up several different things. It was about $100 but it could have been more. I'm actually sort of bummed, um, but I didn't realize that it's only kindergarten for our school district that does like a gift exchange for the classmates. This year, my twins are in first grade and my son is in third grade and they are not supposed to take gifts for their classmates to school. So typically I would be sharing you, sharing with you guys like little baggy stuff, which I had all intentions of, but nope, not this year. Wah, wah, wah. I already shared with you guys what I got the teachers, um, but that's it as far as what they're taking into school. So let me go ahead and show you what I did find though, because the Dollar Tree definitely has you covered for any of your holiday needs. All right, I'm gonna start on this side and work my way around. So I picked up some stocking stuffers for my pets. If you guys don't know, I have two large dogs and one cat. So for my dogs, I got them two bones. Bella and Buford are their names. And this is a peanut butter flavor dog biscuit. So I did get one for each of them. And then for my cat, Polly, I picked up a few more items because I already have a few items for the dogs. So I definitely found more items for her this time. All right, these Temptations are like her favorite treat. Um, she definitely prefers the catnip flavor, which I do not recommend getting for your cats. They will bug the heck out of you every single day until you give them some. But as far as the other flavors, she really enjoys these as well. It's just not like a constant meowing for them. <laughs> So I got her the Backyard Cookout. It's chicken liver and beef flavors and this just little like travel size pouch. So perfect for her stocking. And then, so she typically just eats dry food. I don't buy her wet food every now and then I will um, just to change things up for her. But I found the Rachel Ray stuff at the Dollar Tree and I was like, what? I feel like these are pretty expensive, like a more expensive brand because it's like a name uh, at Walmart. So I went ahead and picked up three different flavors for Polly to try. This one is the Rachel Ray Nutrish Natural Food for Cats Beef and Chicken Catterall. So instead of casserole, it's cat -terol. So I picked that one up for her and hopefully she likes it. Um, I'll probably get two uses out of this and just mix it with her dry food. And then these ones are purr, like a cat purrs, perfect entrees and I found two different flavors. So it's still the Natural Ray, Rachel Ray Nutrish Natural Food for Cats. This one is Seasational Florentine with wild caught salmon and veggies and a creamy sauce, and they're both grain free. So that is that one. And then this one is the Fantastic Primavera with yellowfin tuna and veggies in a savory sauce. So I went ahead and got those because again, they're like the small size perfect for a pet stocking. Okay, a few random items. So I needed, well I didn't need this, my oldest daughter Paige, she is 15, she is homeschooled. I am not her teacher, she does an online, she has teachers online and a class online that she does. Um, and she needed a magnifying glass for a science experiment that she needs to do. So I went ahead and picked one up for her. Then I always peruse the book section. I love getting books from the Dollar Tree and I found another one. This one looked good. So this one is basically about secrets, how everybody has them, how and how they could potentially be hurtful and damaging to families and stuff. So it's just called What We Hide and I'll just read the back real quick. It just says, in the small world of an English boarding school, everyone has something to hide. And then it goes through each of the characters in the story and a secret that they have hidden. And I am just assuming that these secrets are gonna start to unravel in the story 
and something's going to happen. So I love getting books. I read very, very fast and often. So paying just a dollar for them definitely saves me money in the long run. Okay, another random, um, and I had these on my grocery list, but I saw them in the Dollar Tree and I just went ahead and picked them up. My girls use a mouthwash every single day. My twins, Rose and Pearl, and they have their own sink. So they needed their own little little cup thing because the mouthwash they have right now is not the one that you squeeze and has a cup attached. It's the one that you need to pour out. So I went ahead and got them some little itty bitty cups for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna share a few different items that I got in the like kitchenware and party supply section. Oh, I wish I could have found more of these. I'm actually going to check out one more Dollar Tree. I'm going a little bit out of my way tomorrow and I'm going to check out a Dollar Tree there because they have several Cake Boss items that I would love to have in my kitchen. Um, but this was the only one and the last one that I found in this particular Dollar Tree. So I won't be sharing maybe on Instagram if I find anything else from the Dollar Tree, but I won't be doing another haul um, for the rest of this year. But this was really cool. So I have actually had a ton of things like this on my like little wish list for kitchen items that I'd like to own and mess around with. But this is a devoted to dessert double pastry wheel. Timeless wood handle, durable stainless steel blades, and of course name brand Cake Boss. I believe this is sold in uh, Michaels and maybe Walmart. But if you guys didn't know, this is a show on TLC and does a lot of, you know, cake decorating and cooking and things like that. So I'm excited for this. It says two separate blades, one for cutting straight lines and one to add a scalloped edge to fondant and dough. Hand wash only though. So I'm really excited to start playing with this because I love to bake. Okay, so with the holiday season, I am creating a lot of like dessert trays and board type dishes um, of a mixture of things. So I needed a few just reusable, but if I needed to just toss them, something happened, I could toss it. So the Dollar Tree has a lot of great plastic things for parties. And I picked up several different ones. You guys might see them in upcoming videos, but I needed some for holiday parties as well. So some of it I won't be sharing in videos, but I got this pack of six wine glasses. And again, they are just plastic. Um, and this is for just adding some height to different trays and boards that I'm going to be creating. Same thing with this one, five water glasses. So these ones aren't as tall, but they're a little wider. So they're short and wide, whereas the wine glasses are a little taller and thinner. Then I got two different kinds of bowls. So this is a pack of six mini square bowls. And then this one is six mini round bowls. So definitely great bang for your buck at the Dollar Tree as far as like party items. Then I also got a pack of the smaller four plastic tongs for people to use to get the items off the boards. So I thought that would be nice to have. So that was it in the kitchen area. So let's go to the food. I got a lot of Christmas themed food, snacks and goodies for different things that I'm gonna be doing. And then I got a few like random. So I'm gonna show you guys the randoms first. Not too long ago, maybe two Dollar Tree hauls ago, I'm not sure. But I found some Jello like edible sand kits that we're going to be doing with the kids around like spring break-ish time because they do expire right before summer. I think it was like the end of May. So I found a different kind and my kids love doing like hands-on stuff, especially if they get to eat it. <laughs> so when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I need to get this as well. And this is like the same thing, but it's edible ocean. So it's Jello Play edible ocean berry blue and it contains eight edible stickers and I did go ahead and get three even though I know this is going to make a bunch just in case we end up doing this like within a party if we have other kids or family over so I went ahead and got three of these and again this was the, the sand one was not there this time it was just this one but I did find the jello play edible sand last time Okay, this is, I mean, kind of a random, but I picked it up to put in my husband Mark's stocking. So he and I 
don't really do like Christmas gift giving. The kids get us something, but he and I don't exchange gifts because we end up buying things together. We make a little bit of a bigger purchase and go in on it and talk about it and things like that. So he needs some stuff for outside. And then I got myself, you guys should have already seen it, but I got myself a new pots and pans set from Costco. So that was kind of my Christmas gift. Um, and then whatever he ends up picking, he hasn't decided yet, but whatever he ends up picking, we'll share that in a video or on Instagram or something like that, what he got, like his big thing for Christmas. But we decided that we're gonna start filling each other's stockings. So some of it will be like a little higher ticket items and then some of it will just be like little stocking fillers. So I got these for him. He loves nuts of any kind especially if they are spicy. So the Dollar Tree that I went to had a snack zone, which several of these items came from. And it's the first time I'd ever been to a Dollar Tree with a full on snack zone. It was really cool. Um, but this is Emerald, so name, name brand, jalapeno cashews. And they don't expire until June 2020. So I went ahead and got that. I thought that would be perfect for his stocking because he loves this kind of stuff. And then, in the snack zone, I found these spray sour candies. So my kids, ooh, yep, dropping stuff. My kids have seen a few different YouTube videos of kids like using these and they were all about it. They were like, oh my gosh, we need to find those. So I don't think I'm gonna hold on to these for like any kind of Christmas thing. I think I'm just gonna put these in their snack bin in the pantry and watch out for when they see them and see their faces light up and be like, Oh my gosh. So I got one of each color um, or flavor, really. These are two tarts, smart choice spray candy. So I got a blueberry and a strawberry and then a green apple and a watermelon. Three more food items that aren't like Christmassy. Uh, my daughter Rose loves this stuff. And I used to pick it up all the time, <laughs> but it's been a while. And I was like, you know what? They're going to be home for two weeks for their Christmas break, the Christmas week and then New Year's, first week of the new year. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and stash these, hide these away for when they're home, just for a little special sweet treat. And it's a snack pack, chocolate vanilla, made with real milk, pudding cups. So I went ahead and got that. I think they're the exact same price at like a grocery store, a dollar for a pack of four. I don't know, I just went ahead and picked them up. I didn't want like a huge amount. Then I saw these and I used to, that was the back of the box. I used to pick these up in a different form. I don't even remember what they were, but my daughter Rose loved them. And I saw these and I was like, all right, I'm gonna have these on hand also for like a little snack or something while they're home on break. And it is the Nature Valley, which is a name brand. You can find it in your local grocery store. And they are biscuits with cocoa almond butter. That sounds good. So I think they're going to like this. This might even be really good with like a glass of hot cocoa or something. So I went ahead and picked this up. And how many are in here? Five pouches. And I don't know if there's just like one cookie per pouch or two cookies for, per pouch. So I went ahead and got that. And then last, I actually, so this is not like a holiday cookie, but I did pick it up for one of the little dessert um, trays that I'm going to be making. And they are the maple cream cookies and they are bite sized. So they're pretty, pretty small. I went ahead and got one box of that just as a filler for one of my dessert and cookie boards. And then I got a lot of Christmas, like a lot of holiday candies for various different things. So some of these I said you guys are going to see in upcoming videos. Um, and then some of them are just for things that we're doing around the house and special events and things like that. So I got two boxes of the holiday Skittles. I needed some Skittles that were just holiday colors and didn't have any of the other colors in them. And then I found the Mike and Ike Mary mix, which I might mix with the Skittles, or I might just have on hand for cookie decorating. Uh, one thing I'm gonna be doing is making a hot chocolate station for um, the kids and some friends that are coming over. So I got a couple different candy canes because I'm not sure if I'm going to have them all out or what I'm doing yet, but I wanted to have a variety of options. So I found these 25, a, a box of 25 mini ones and they are red, green, and white. And then your traditional set of candy canes um, of the natural peppermint, so the red and white. Uh, again, I don't feel like I have to say this with everything I pick up, but these are all for like various things, but they're all Christmas related. I got two packages of the Brock's, which is a name brand, and these are the Christmas nougats. 
um, and they are peppermint. Now I did have to go through several of these bags and kind of pick the best one because a lot of these seem like they had been like melted and they don't look like, you know, the pretty little circles. So I went ahead and got the best two bags that I could. Also got two bags of red vines and I think I'm going to put these out with the hot cocoa bar and like cut off the ends and see if they would work as a straw. I don't know yet, but that's kind of what I had in mind. So I did go ahead and get two bags of those. Oh, more, I actually got a lot of like different kind of candy cane stuff. So this is another pack of mini candy canes, except there's 20 in here and they have Frosty the Snowman wrappers on them. I thought that would be really, really cute to do with something. Oh, I have some like stocking stuffers mixed in here. Uh, all right, so I got this again for like a little cookie tray that I'm gonna be putting together. And this is a four pack of the Hello Panda. And they look like a little like wafer type cookie and it's a cream center, like a little chocolate cream center. And it has a little panda like stamped on it. So four for a dollar. I actually saw these when I went to Costco in a huge box for, I don't remember how many were in there, but it was like $7, $6.99, but it ended up being the same exact price for the four for a dollar. So I thought that was awesome that, you know, Dollar Tree isn't necessarily, oh, some of their food is a little overpriced. Like when you buy them like this in smaller quantities, but if you want a smaller quantity, it works out perfectly. Okay, as far as stocking stuffers or Advent, I'm not sure yet because I am setting a few extra goodies out for my oldest daughter Paige for her Advent, but I saw these at the Dollar Tree and they scream my daughter. Like she is not huge on snacking, like sweet snacking like this, but she loves these flavors when she does choose snacking. So this is a big bite, Russell Stover Caramel Latte. I, I almost picked up one for myself and then I was like, girl, you do not need that, put it down. So I got this for her and then I saw this one and it wasn't even right next to it. It was like several aisles down, but it's another big bite, Russell Stover, and it's a house blend coffee, little chocolate dessert. So yeah, she is going to love seeing those. Some lollipops, how cute are these? Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the themed lollipops. So there are six in each of these bags and they each have two different kinds. So this one has a snowman and a Christmas tree and then is a Santa, yeah, Santa and a gingerbread man. So I thought those were super cute. Then I got two different kinds of fudge covered cookies. And you can buy these in like the big bag in your local grocery store. But if you're really, you just need a little bit, go to the Dollar Tree. So you're not like overindulging. So I got two packs of the Chips Ahoy Thin Bites and they're fudge dipped. Yum. And then I got two packs of the Oreo Thin Bites and they are fudge dipped as well. Okay, so I... This is not my favorite. Like the off brand, the taste is not the same as the Brock's. I think it's Brock's, the name brand. But when I went to the grocery store and I'm trying to buy some of this stuff ahead of time so I have it on hand so I don't risk selling out. But when I went to the grocery store, they did not have them, like nowhere. So I did go ahead and get the Dollar Tree brand, but I did wanna let you know that like for me personally, the taste is a little off, it's not the same but I wanted to have them for what I'm creating. So I got the Starlight Mints Coastal Bay Confections is the brand and it says with real peppermint oil. But again, I just needed these little peppermints for a few things that we're gonna be doing. So I went ahead and got a bag of those. Then I found more lollipops. I definitely got way too many lollipops, but I think it's gonna be fun. The kids are gonna get a kick out of it. There's 18 in this and these are the Tiger Pops. So they're the cherry flavored. Oh my gosh, I used to love these as a kid. Whenever I would see them out like for Christmas time or sometimes people would hand them out for Halloween. Oh, I just love the Tiger Pops. So I went ahead and got a bag of that. Then I got two bags of the Stripe, the soft peppermint candy. So it's like a little stick candy cane. And I'm doing several different things with these. I love to dip these half in chocolate and then roll them in sprinkles. They make perfect gifts or uh, Mark will take them into work sometimes. Uh, but I am doing a couple different things with these. I should have picked up more because I am gonna be doing several things with these, but oh well, I got two bags. Speaking of Mark, he actually picked these out for the kids. 
he saw these and he was like, yeah, we need to get these. So every year we do watch the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas movie, the older one, and he saw these and he thought this would be fun to give to the kids when we watch the movie this year. Only got three because again, my oldest daughter isn't huge on like the, the candy aspect of snacking, so I know she wouldn't really want one of these, but he picked out the Santa Claus one, and what it is is it's a little lollipop and as they're sucking on it, that is their mouth. So he, we know that they're gonna have a good time with that. We got the Rudolph one. And then the Abominable Snowman, yes, the Abominable Snowman. So those are gonna be fun for the kids. And last in the holiday snacking aisle, I needed red and green M&Ms. And this was another thing. I went to the grocery store first, didn't see them anywhere. Um, because especially now, like this season, things aren't exactly where you would expect them to be. Like you really have to go down every aisle and like the end caps and stuff and the the aisles that they create in the middle of the walking aisle like things are everywhere so i knew i could find them at the dollar tree so i went ahead and got these they're not i actually prefer these if you are creating things with these and having these set out because they don't have the m on it so it's less distracting it is just red and green so i love finding these so i went ahead and got two of the like what are they calling these just chocolate lentils but they're like off-brand m ms my chulo, I was sitting on my feet and they are falling asleep. All right, I needed to take a little break, little break, but we're back in action. Okay, so let's get into some kid items um, or in like the little toy section and arts and crafts. So these are random items. I have some plans for some of them and other ones I like to just grab and I have a bin under my bed and I keep it in there for random times or parties or anything like that. If like my kids are being like especially good one day, I will pull it out and be like, y'all are the best. So I found a couple different games that we love to play games. Like every couple days we love to play games. I thought this would be fun. So this is like the original bingo. You know how there's tons of like free printables online for like kid type bingos and you can use candy as little markers, stuff like that. I thought this would be cool having the little turn around cage thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it's a bingo game set, one rotary cage. There you go, I should have read it first. 10 bingo cards, 288 chips, and 60 numbered balls for a dollar. Now I know they're gonna be tiny and cheaply made, but I thought this would be so fun for the kids and us to play together. And then I purchased a bean or bag toss game um, in the fall for, well, it's still technically fall until the end of December, but um, it was like a fall theme and the kids loved it. I had it out in the living room and they were constantly throwing it. Now this is only a one-off, but I thought this would be fun to have on hand, like just to keep up in the game room for them to play. So I got this, it's a bag toss game. It has one playing board and then four toss bags. So went ahead and got that. Then I couldn't remember if I had picked one of these up already, and I did. So now I have two. So this is gonna go in my little bin under the bed for whenever. Um, but I knew my son plays a lot of Destiny. Well, not a lot, but he likes to play every now and then on the computer. So I went ahead and picked one of these up for his stocking, but I already had one. So again, this is just gonna go into my extra bin. It's always nice to have these on hand. I might add this into my husband's. Maybe he can put it on his little work like laptop bag. I don't know, because he likes Destiny. So we'll see what I end up doing. But it's always good to have a little extra one on hand, especially for like if your kids come to you last minute and they're like, hey, I have a friend that I really wanna give something to or if, like somebody in the neighborhood, something like that. So I like having little things on hand. Then this is totally a last minute and I'm glad that the elves didn't already bring the Legos that I have in mind for them to bring um, because the Dollar Tree has like a huge section of Lego friendly things now and they're calling it Make It Blocks. But I, ha I got in several hauls to go like the light up bricks and the color coded bricks like the, the fun like neon colors and now they have these little itty bitty block tapes so i have purchased the bigger rolls before and they're a little harder like the kids have to cut them and they just string them out everywhere i thought these were cool they're already just small so they could just put them like it's showing on the back oh it's the same exact picture on the front showing them like a little section on a desk or on their beds 
or I mean really anywhere but I thought these were cool so I picked up the only colors that they had I wish they had these in the neon colors because they would match the ones that I already got but whatever they're still gonna be cool so I got the red yellow blue and green so these are really cool and again I love that they're already cut and it's just a small little piece for them to stick somewhere and they're gonna have a lot of fun with it okay I'm really glad that I found these because my oldest daughter Paige loves to draw and sketch and all of that stuff and art supplies can get pretty pricey and costly at your like big stores big name stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels like they it's pretty expensive for some of that stuff so for the Dollar Tree to come out with it I love it so I went ahead and got four packs I think I'm just going to pick random days to set these out for her advent because her stocking is already all of their stockings are already done so I got the four different kinds that I could find they each have six in it charcoal graphite metallic and watercolor pencils so I know she is really going to enjoy sketching with these. Also for my daughter, since she is homeschooled, she uses a lot of books, she makes a lot of notes and things like that. I saw this and I thought this would be great to set out with her advent uh, because as far as she is concerned, she is older, so she's not really into the like Lego kits and the little advent calendars and stuff like that. It's, it's a little harder for her. So this year I just stuffed her advent calendar with chocolates that I know that she likes. But every few days I'm gonna set out like a little extra because hers didn't cost that much to put together. For the younger kids, I bought them the Lego type advent calendars, which were a little more expensive. So they get like something tangible every single day. So I figured I would get just a few things to scatter in there for her as well and she would enjoy it. So this is the Meowgical Page Markers by Crown Jewels and they are different types of cats. She is definitely a cat lover and she also really loves cactus. Like she has several different cactus prints in her room. So I thought this would be perfect for her. Okay, then I picked up just a few randoms, again, that I'm just gonna put away for right now and decide what to do with later because their stockings are already done and I don't really need any other filler items. But when I see things at the Dollar Tree that I know my kids are gonna love, I pick them up and just figure out what to do later. So this is a little fashion accessory hair clip and that is a llama. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, my daughter Pearl, her room is llama themed and she also loves to do her hair. Like she has probably way too many hair accessories, but she uses them all. Like she will go through phases where she wears headbands every single day forever in a row. And then she'll go through where she wants me to do her hair with pins and bows and braids and all that kind of stuff. So I know she will love that. Also in the llama themed, I found this and they are getting something for Christmas for their need that they're gonna be able to decorate a little bit and I think this will be really pretty. Now the other side is a unicorn which is my daughter Rose's room. Her room is themed in unicorn. However, I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really like this. I didn't like the words in the middle. I wish it was just a unicorn. So I didn't pick up, I almost picked up two one for Pearl to use this side and one for Rose to use this side, but I wasn't in love with this, like I said. So I just picked up one for Pearl for her thing that she's getting for Christmas. Then I found these, what? I wish I wasn't done with their stockings because I would totally put this in their stockings, but I thought these were super cute. I'll just hold on to them for something. But they're little mini make your own pinatas. This one is a llama and yeah, they each come with the same thing. So two packs of paper fringe, two shaped cards, two scored cards, and a sticker sheet. So that's a llama and that's a unicorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just thought they were so, so cute. Uh, okay, and then I found these. What? Oh my gosh. So again, they're getting something for Christmas that they're going to be able to decorate a little bit and kind of just create, make their own to fit their room style. So I went ahead and picked these up. Now, if she wants to use them, she can. If not, she can put them in her closet or something if she doesn't want them out in her room. But my daughter Pearl is obsessed with JoJo. Like last year, I think last year is when JoJo went on tour or whatever. I need to look it up again. It's been a while. And I think she was in our area, but the day ended up being something that we couldn't make. So I'm still keeping my eye out for taking them to her concert because they would just love that, Rose and Pearl. Um, but so far, 
no luck. So I'm still holding out that we can get to see her eventually. Um, but until then, I'm just buying all the JoJo stuff and she can have her at home all day, every day. Okay, we are now officially sitting on the buttocks because oh, I can barely feel my toes. Okay, so the, my last little section is like Christmas wrapping. So I got several different things. Actually, one thing is a decor piece. So I picked up four of these <laughs> a little while ago for my chairs, and I was super excited because they do fit, yay. However, I won't be purchasing these again next year. Um, they are, I mean, it's a buck. What do you expect? But some things are a little on the cheap side. And as far as these being chair covers with us sitting at the chair, you know, three times a day, well, on the weekend, three times a day, but two times a day during the week, breakfast and dinner, um, they're starting to come off in the corner a little bit from my kids sitting down and kind of like pushing against them and stretching them. They're coming apart and one of them has a hole in it. And when I'm filming this video, I have not filmed or shared my Christmas home tour yet. And I needed another one. So <laughs> I picked up one more because the kids do love having them on there. So we're going to finish out this month with these on there, but then they are going to go in the trash and maybe we'll do something different next year. I don't know, but they are super cute for what they're worth a dollar. Um, so I did pick up one more chair cover for my dining room table so I can get my Christmas home tour filmed. Okay, and then not really Christmas, but something that I wanted to have on hand for this season because I'm doing a lot of baking. And I should have picked up two of them because I am going to be making a lot of muffins. And I think this would be a great idea as a gift also. Um, if you are baking muffin type things, cupcakes to give, like for your husband to take to somebody at work or a teacher or, I mean, anybody, a work friend of yours, um, if you're taking baked goods, to take it in a reusable container that they can reuse, that they're not going to toss away or anything like that, but that they can reuse, that just makes it a little better. So I went ahead and picked one of these up for, not a gift, for myself, because I'm making some muffins, prepping some muffins, and I thought it'd be nice to have them in this instead of in a gallon size baggie, which is what I've been keeping them in. So went ahead and got that, but now that I'm thinking about it, I should have got another one. Maybe I will next time I go back. Then also I'm going to be gifting a few baked goods. There's a neighbor in our neighborhood <laughs> that we've become a little friendly with and she brought over cookies. So now I'm going to reciprocate and take her over some cookies for her family. So I could not decide between these two bins. So I got both of them, but I'm also going to send in some cookies with Mark for work. So whichever one I end up not using for our neighbor, I will use for him to take in for work. But I thought both of these were super cute. So they have several different kinds of this one, but this one was my favorite, the little gingerbread. I thought this one looked super cute for like baked goods. And it says comfort and joy. And it's a good, I mean, it's a good size for cookies, stacking cookies or bars. So I went ahead and got that. And again, I love gifting reusable containers that they can reuse for the next season. And then I got this one. Again, they had several different kinds, but this one was my favorite. I love their red and green together. It says happy holidays, peace, joy, and it's got tons of different, you know, holiday themed items on there. Presents, ornaments, Christmas tree stars, candy canes. So, so cute. And this one is a good size too. And this just pops right off, but I mean, that's, that's a good size for cookies, muffins, bars, any of your baking needs. All right, then I got a tray. Like I mentioned, I'm doing several different trays and boards for this holiday season. We have quite a few different get togethers that we're doing. We're hosting some, we're going to some, lots of things going on. So I liked this one um, because it wasn't as distracting as some of the other ones. Like some of the trays, you almost don't want to put anything on it because they're so cute. This one is just red, white, and snowflakes and it's really pretty. However, I don't feel bad covering it up <laughs> with treats. Am I the only one that thinks that way? I don't know. So I thought this was my best bet for using as a treat tray. So I went ahead and got that. They come out with the, the great, some great options. And I love this, like the large ones, because this definitely works better for parties. They have the smaller circular ones. Also, I actually picked up one that is coffee themed that I'm gonna be using, but I definitely prefer these ones. These ones are my favorite. Okay, now we're getting into like gift wrap and stuff like that. 
I found two boxes and what we do for our kids the last, I mean for several years now is the four gift rule. However, sometimes they'll get more within that category than just one gift. But this year they're just getting one, um, very, very small Christmas, but a big Christmas, if that makes sense. So we do the want, need, wear, read, and then Santa brings a few. So for the read, I'm hoping that these will work, but I wish they had more. Um, but these are my favorite ones. Is this one right? This one goes this way. So I got this for my daughter Paige. I thought this was very, very pretty. So this is gonna hold her books that we got for her read for Christmas. And then I got this one. And I should have got like, I was hoping to get three of these for my younger three, for Bryce, Rose, and Pearl for their read. And then I'll just label it with their name on it. Cause they're so cute, but they only had one. So maybe when I go back, I'll be able to find more to this other Dollar Tree, but how cute is that? And then the side, I just thought it was super, super cute. The little characters on there. So again, this is going to hold one of my kids' books, uh, my younger three, and then hopefully I can find two more. Otherwise, I'll do something else for their books. So we have several bigger items this year, and I'm not quite sure how we're going to wrap them yet. If we're going to have them like put them together and put them out, wrap the big boxes with wrapping paper but i saw these and i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and grab my favorite prints that way we have them just in case we like this is definitely an easier route if they fit in these bags um to just bag them up so we're not like wrapping trying to turn the big boxes around or anything like that so i went ahead and got these and these are so cute so you get one bag one tie and one tag and are they all the same size? 44 by 36, yes. So I got this one. I thought that was very pretty. This is the elegant looking ornaments. Then I got the mittens. I love the colors on that, super pretty. Then the gingerbread man. I thought that was really cute. And again, I am in love with this like teal blue color. It's one of my favorites for this time of year. And this one is just different snowmen. I thought that was really cute. So if we don't end up going that route this year, it's always nice to have those on hand. Picked up several different bags. And I don't remember now, I know we had plans for these in the store. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember. I'm sure my husband will remember. He's got like, his memory is on point. So we got these two size, sized alike bags, but different prints. Really pretty. This is more like a hologram, if you can tell. Really pretty. And then this one is a Santa with the hot air balloons. And then we got two of this bigger size. I'm not gonna be able to fit them both in here, but they're very similar. The size is exactly, and the look of it is just similar. So I thought that was pretty. And here's the other one. How cute. Dollar Tree definitely has some super cute bags. And if you need a lot of bags, you need to get them from the Dollar Tree because they're definitely on the cheap side. I think Walmart has a few for like 98 cents, but most of theirs are like $1.50. All right, and then we got two sets of boxes. And these are gonna be for the clothes, for the kids' wear. Um, so we're already set on that. So this is a two pack. So there's the first one. <laughs> I just love it. Super cute. I love the super cute prints they came out with this year. Then there he is. So these are both like two different vehicles. Then, or modes of transportation, I should say. Then we've got the penguin and the Santa. So super cute. I love getting these boxes because they're already printed on. You don't have to wrap them. Um, I do have a little, some white boxes just because I love to wrap. So we're doing the wrapping also, but those ones you don't have to worry about. And then last but not least, um, we are doing a few bags this year, as, you, as you've seen. So I needed some tissue paper and I got the sparkly one. So I went ahead and got two packages of the sparkly tissue paper. And how much is in here? 20 sheets. So I typically put like three to four sheets in a bag just so there's no like cheating or looking if we plan on putting this out ahead of time. So I definitely go through some tissue paper, but I got two packages of that and that is it. So that is my last Dollar Tree haul that I will be sharing on this channel for this year. If you guys love the Dollar Tree, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll definitely have more next year. Um, but as far as Christmas is concerned, 
we are almost done. Like it is down to the wire and we are just now starting our second week of December. So I am super excited to be almost done ahead of the game because last year we went out like the weekend prior to Christmas and it was a madhouse in every single store and I am trying to avoid that this year. So let me know down below what kind of shopper you are. If you love to go out last minute and you just love the rush and the hustle and bustle of everything, if you just buy things as you can, or if you are an early shopper, let me know what you guys are down below. Okay, so that is it. I love chatting with you guys in these Dollar Tree hauls. I hope you do as well. I am trying to share a video. I feel like I've been saying this in every video. I'm sure I have, but it's keeping me accountable. I'm trying to do Vlogmas, sharing a video every single day. So hopefully I will be back tomorrow with another one for y'all. Bye.